What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make James Harden style of hair. So without further ado, Let's jump right into the video. First thing we're gonna do is drop the opacity down on our picture. Say about a good 70. Oh, that'll do 70. Okay, we're gonna lock that layer. Add a new layer. Come over here to set our brush. Bruh. Keep it moving slow. You want to click new brush and you want to click OK, go to your pressure and change this to three. Let's see. You can just type it in three and we'll put three on this side. You want to click our brush. And this is the only brush I ever, when you, on all my videos, this is the only brush you see me using. And all I do is, it's like, I, I press light, then I go harder in the center, and then I come off of it. And it's just like a technique. But that's the only brush I ever use. I just changed the sizes of it, but all you gotta do to get that brush is set your pen pressure sensitivity so let's go ahead and start we're gonna just just gonna hurry up and get to the hair first thing you want to do you want to go ahead and make like make your brush bigger go down to five and we just gonna fill it in thick before we add the detail, you just want to go ahead and color in the inside. So, but you want to leave a little room around the edges. Same thing, we're gonna leave some, some room around the edges. Now it's time for the technique. So what you wanna do, you wanna bring your brush size down. And all you wanna do is make like a swirl effect. And you wanna do the swirl left and right. But when you do the swirl, you don't want to make a complete circle. You want to kind of like stop it like you're trying to make a upside down C. And you just want to keep doing that. And then the more you do it consistently, it'll start looking like, start looking like little hairs. So all you want to do is you want to keep that same consistency going. You want to make it a little bigger, a little smaller and just left and right you want to keep doing it we're gonna make our brush a little bigger we go to 0 0.75 let's do 0 0.75 so we can cover more ground and you see how you can you can kind of still see like the smooth line all you have to do is just come a little closer and you can just kind of feel don't make it perfect just you can make smaller hair effects Keep going around 
until we finish the process. Now we got the beard complete. So now we finna go up and do the top of the hair. Finish the mohawk. So we're gonna use the same method for the top of the hair. Just, you just wanna keep making your swirls left and right. Okay, now we finna get to the more tedious part and that's kind of like the fade to the hair, to the mohawk. So what you wanna do is, you wanna come in, let's make our brush like a 0 0.75. And we just gonna do this. But you don't want to go past, you want to make like an invisible line, like right here. So we're going to go thick. And the lower we get to, the closer we get to the ear, we're going to make our brush even smaller so it can have a nice fade to it. So, so the closer you get to the mohawk, you want to try to make it darker and you want to try to hide this line so it'll look natural. Kind of like what I'm doing. So, as you see, the closer I'm getting to the line, I'm like, I'm getting rid of it. Try not to make it too perfect so it can have a more natural look to it. Okay, we're gonna do that same step, but we're gonna make our brush smaller so you can come up to this 0 0.5. And we can just make it a little lighter. And you can space it out more too because like when you give it space in it, it'll give it a, a more lighter effect like you you didn't put too much emphasis on it so and we're gonna put a gradient effect on the edge but we're just doing this so when it's when this line works sit on top of it it'll have a it'll give it it'll give it more of a effect where the pop Now that we got the hair finished, what you want to do is we're going to make sure everything is closed off so we can add our filling and colors. Now what you want to do after you don't finish your line work, you want to go ahead and click your selection tool you want to highlight everything go to object expand appearance and then you want to go to your pathfinder and you want to click merge so we can make all our lines one right after you do that you want to make a copy of your line work by dragging it down to this blank sheet of paper then you want to lock the top layer then we're gonna find a nice skin tone. So we get something we like. Say so reddish. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Then you wanna to go to your rectangle tool and you wanna to drag it over all the artwork. 
how the line work and you want to right click the rectangle to uh, I mean right click the rectangle we just made then you want to go to arrange send backward I mean send to back and you'll know if you did that step right if you look over here at your layers and you see your line work sitting on top of the color right after you do that you want to highlight everything together and then we're going to merge this to make it one and now you can right click on it isolate select group and then we can we can delete the unwanted color and to get the look the skin tone out of the hair what you want to do is you want to come right here to your layer click this drop down menu and scroll down until you see until the end of the black line work and I'm gonna tell you why we doing this you want to scroll down Until you get to okay here's the end of our black line work and what you want to do you want to you want to hold you want to hold down on your mouse and you want to stroll up while you still got your mouse selected you want to stroll up and lock all the black layers Then once you do that, you want to unlock the top two, and then you want to close it. So we do that. So instead of trying to delete these one by one and making a and making a mistake and deleting our line work, we don't lock all the black layers, so it won't let us delete that. So you can click this arrow right here, and then you can highlight it. Let's see. Wait, drop down. Wait, yeah. Unlock this layer right there. And close it again. And now we can highlight. And we can we can delete all the unwanted color that, that fell inside our hair. So all you gotta do, just like I said, lock all the black line work inside the layer, but don't lock the top two. Don't lock these top two, just lock all the line work inside of it, and then you can close it. And that should let you just go through and delete. And sometimes, when it's not letting you select it, you just gotta open it up and make sure that that layer didn't lock on you. Now what we're gonna do is finish coloring rest of the picture so you want to click this arrow right here the selection tool you want to click onto it you want to right regular click it first you want to then you want to right click isolate group and now we can change colors individually now what you want to do to add a cool effect before we do the gradient fade on the hair. What you want to do is you want to add a blank layer above the line work, above everything. And then you want to come down here to your colors. And now you can click any gradient. Just make sure you have a gradient selected because we finna change the colors to it you can come to windows and then you can click gradient and what we're gonna do all we need is three so we're gonna we're gonna delete we're gonna delete the extra ones so what you want to do you want to come to the sides and you want to make that black 
and kind of a let's see what color we gonna make it fade. for a dark color but let's try to make it fade a little bluish we can okay now the color in the center we're gonna make it we're gonna make it bluish gray so it can have a nice fade to it. A little purple. And you can just look at my settings if you wanna pause it. So that's the center. And here's the sides. We're gonna make this a little more purplish. Then we're gonna come to this side and do the same. Adjust this a little more, put it. You'll see what I'm doing at the end. Okay, I kind of like that. So I'm gonna let y'all look at my settings. That's the first one. This the one in the middle. And this the one on the far end so now what you want to do you want to come click your your paintbrush tool and you want to add the same swirls we did we did on the outside but you can be more more random inside the beard you don't have to have a order but I like to make it flow like to make it make sense since I'm going this way I want to make it flow around like this as you can see if you can see I want to make it flow around like make it go this way so now we're gonna go home to the top of the hair gonna do it kind of a different effect like a more of a straight line than a curve but not too straight though we want to keep it keep the flow going like it's natural hair so don't don't try to make it too neat but you want to keep some kind of consistent flow going Okay, now that we did the hair, we're going to add one layer under the top line work. We're going to add one layer in between, and you want to get your, we're going to find a, we're going to find this gradient tool. You can just click any gradient tool, and I'm going to show you what you do. We're gonna pull out our gradient. And on this one, what you're gonna do, you wanna select this side and you wanna drop the opacity down to zero. And on this side, you wanna make that fade into like a, a brownish so it'll flow good with its skin tone. But you wanna keep this you want to keep the bottom one at a hundred so let's try to get a brownish color if we can okay that's pretty close now what you want to do now that we got our gradient tool selected we only want to have that out so we're going to lock this and then we're going to come to our pen tool now we finna, finna place it right behind our 
Five pieces of hairs. Click that. If you don't know how to use the uh the pen tool, I have a video on that that'll show you how to use it. But we're just gonna go ahead and make a nice little thing. Then you can just come around. Close it off. Now what you want to do? Now that we still that got that selected, we're gonna bring out our gradient, and we're gonna come right here, and we're gonna have a fade coming from the top. So I like it about right here. Then we're gonna see how much we want it to come down. So let's pull this level right here. I like it about and you can pull this up a little bit I like that so we're gonna click off of it with our arrow I mean you can make it more perfect but I'm just trying to show you guys if you can Take the time and really get it, get a nice little, nice little edge going. Cause it look like I done messed them up a little bit, but it's all good. 